I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Betaflight 3.3 is, well, it's not released yet, but it is in release candidate. And what that means is that the Betaflight devs would like you, if you're feeling adventuresome, to try it out. And if you don't find any bugs, then in a month or so, an actual official release will come out. And if you do find any bugs, then they'll fix them. And then in a month or so, a release will come out. And that means that it's time to start documenting some of the really cool new features in Betaflight 3.3. And there are some really cool ones that I'm super excited to tell you about. The one we're going to talk about today is called, well, it's informally called Anti-Taz, like the Tasmanian Devil, like a whirlwind. Technically, it stands for takeoff. It stands for something, but it's really, it's about the, you ever had like your props on wrong or your board alignment misconfigured or your motors miswired. And when you arm your quad and throttle up, bleh, flips out, it flips over, flies third, tries to eat your face off, kills a baby, you know, right? Well, this will detect that that is trying to happen and stop it. So that's kind of a big deal. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I got the props installed wrong on this quad so that when I try to arm it, it will flip out. And I don't know if you can tell this from the camera, but we're actually in my office. I put down my breakdancing mat. Carry around to give you a huge 65 by 70 safe dancing area anywhere. So that it doesn't mess up the carpet. But no way I would do this inside if I didn't have confidence in this system. But I'm, I'm still going to stand far away when I do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that was a little bit terrifying. Let's do it again. So, for that one, I just bumped the the roll stick. I did not throttle up. Let's see what happens if I try to throttle up. Fourteen point two. Well, I didn't even get a chance to throttle up that time. Let's try one more time. Fourteen point two. Oh, oh, this is a little terrifying. Oh, my heart's racing. <laughs> okay, so that time I throttled up and it, it kind of actually stopped sooner. Let's try one more time. 14.1. Yeah. Woo. Okay, that time I, I raised the throttle pretty aggressively. So, all things said, that's way better than what often happens, which is a violent flip out with a fly in some direction or a spin to the moon or broken props. That's honestly could be a lot worse. Let's go back to the bench. So what do you need to know about this feature? Well, the first thing you need to know is I've had people saying, hey, Joshua, Betaflight 3.3 is buggy. I tried to take off and my motors kind of spun up and then shut down. And that's not a bug. That's a feature. <laughs> Something is wrong with the configuration and your quadcopter would be flipping out and the anti-TAS feature is protecting you from flipping out. So if you get into a scenario like that, especially while we're in the release candidate window, you're going to want to double check and try to figure out what is wrong to cause the quad to flip out. And there's four things basically that cause the, this to happen. One is that you've got your props installed wrong. One is that you've got a motor spinning the wrong direction. One is that you've got a motor miswired. So either the signal wire is going to the wrong pad or you've used resource reassignment to shuffle the motors around and you've done it wrong. And one is that the flight controller orientation is incorrect. So you've got the board installed 90 degrees to the left or upside down or something, and you haven't used the board alignment uh, configuration in the configuration tab to tell Betaflight that that's happening. I've got a video on troubleshooting these issues. I'll put a link to it in the upper right. You can, you can check that out. What does anti-TAS really do? Anti-TAS detects when at takeoff time, the PID sum on a given axis is growing too large. So when you've got this, this one of these mistakes that causes the quad to flip out, as you begin to take off, the PID sum goes, it just, it's a feedback loop. It's just like audio feedback at a, at a concert. And the anti-TAS feature will detect the PID sum growing rapidly faster than it ever should under normal circumstances and will basically just disarm the quad. So there are some parameters that you can tweak, but I don't recommend that you tweak them 
uh, the defaults have been set very carefully to like avoid too many false alarms, but to catch scenarios. If you tweak the parameters to make them uh, more relaxed, then when you get a flip out, it's going to be more violent. If you tweak the parameters to make them more stringent, then it's more likely that you'll get a false alarm. Like if you have a little bit of a rough, bumpy takeoff, it'll shut the quad and disarm. Um, you may want to choose to run without this feature if you are like if you're a racer. You don't want you may not want to take a chance that something bumps the quad or something on the starting blocks and the quad disarms when the when they go you know arm your quads in less than five boop you disarm. So especially if you're competitive, you're going to want to if you choose to use this feature, you're going to want to test it very carefully and make sure you're not getting any false alarms. Especially as it's a new feature and although the default settings have been tested. Once thousands of people start installing it, maybe we'll find that the defaults don't work for some people. So let's take a look at those command line parameters then. And the first place I want to take you is here. This is the Betaflight GitHub wiki page that documents these features. And although you've got me to walk you through them, you should definitely know that this is here. I'll put a link in the video description and you can go check this out if you're the kind of person who likes to read your information instead of having a YouTuber read it to you. Yeah, you nerds. <laughs> okay, so then if we go into Betaflight Configurator and we connect and we go to the command line and I type get takeoff, that's the keyword. It's going to show me all of the command line parameters that have takeoff in the name, which is all of the runaway takeoff prevention parameters. Uh, and the one that I want to really draw your attention to here is runaway takeoff prevention equals on. If you want to disable this feature, you can type set runaway. We really need, can we have autocomplete yet? No, we really, can we get autocomplete please in the command line? No, runaway takeoff prevention equals off. And that will disable the feature entirely. Well, at least we have up arrow. <laughs> and then the other uh, thresholds and, and parameters are documented in the wiki. Runaway takeoff threshold is how high the PID sum must grow before the feature kicks in. Uh, so raising this number makes the feature less, uh, less likely to kick in and means that if the quad flips out, it will flip out more violently. Lowering this number makes it the quad flip out less violently and triggers the feature more quickly, but increases the odds of a false alarm. Runaway takeoff activate delay is how long the PID sum must be above this number in milliseconds. So it, the idea there is that in a feed in a in a true flip out scenario, you're going to have feedback loop. So it, you will the PID sum will never go up and down in a true scenario. It will always go up 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 to infinity. And so this this window means that it, we have to stay above that number for a certain amount of time and rules out scenarios where we get just a little bump and it goes back down again. The deactivate delay feature right here is how long the quadcopter needs to be flying before the anti-TAS feature is disabled. So the anti-TAS feature, once, once you get the quad in the air, then obviously a flip out is not going to happen anymore. And then finally, we've got the runaway takeoff deactivate throttle percent, which is 25%. And here's what that means. We want to disable this feature once the quadcopter gets into the air. If the quadcopter is going to flip out, it's going to flip out as you begin to take off. If the quadcopter gets into the air at all, this problem isn't happening and we need to disable this feature because when we get a high PID sum at takeoff time, we want to we want to shut things down. But a high PID sum in flight just means you're making very aggressive maneuvers like snap rolls and we don't want to disarm the quad while you're flying. So how does the quadcopter know when you've gotten into the air and it can safely disable this feature. And this throttle percent says that if the throttle is below 25%, never disable the feature. The quadcopter can't possibly be in the air yet. If you have a quadcopter with a really high thrust to weight ratio, maybe you could think about lowering this since you might be flying at 25% throttle. Hey, who knows? And then once the throttle goes above this percent, the flight controller looks at other things like, are you moving the pitch and roll stick? Uh, is the quadcopter responding correctly to pitch and roll inputs and not flipping out? And once it determines that you're, you're flying, it then disables the feature. Uh, but the throttle has to be above the deactivate throttle percent in order to disable the feature. Well, there you go. That is the new anti-TAS, anti-flip out on takeoff feature in Betaflight 3.3 coming soon. And I look forward to a day 
when you know all of us worrying about throttling up with our props on wrong and the quadcopter flips out and we're all embarrassed yada 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 maybe somebody gets hurt even wouldn't it be great if that was just a thing of the past and maybe soon it will be so thanks to the Betaflight devs for working on these cool features. I'm super looking forward to the, telling you guys about all the other cool stuff in Betaflight 3.3. Now that it's in release candidate, you can flash it right now. Just go, uh, go to your firmware flasher, enable show unstable releases and right there, 330 RC1 or whatever the release candidate is. Or if it's by the time you watch this video, maybe it's actually out and it's just 330. But you can flash it right now if you want to try it out. And if you find any bugs, go to GitHub and open a new issue on GitHub and report them. But uh, yep, there you go. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. You ever had a quadcopter, you know, you got your props on wrong or you got your board alignment configured wrong. And the minute you raise the throttle, bleh, it flips out, tries to eat your face, kills your puppy. <laughs> to say it's your mom. I don't know why. <laughs> Kills your puppy. It's your mom. That's 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 not okay.